we are discussing about experimental method and for conducting experimental method we must understand first why we are doing so when we conduct experiment on the small population it is called a sample on that sample and then we want to generalize what is the meaning of generalizability when we conduct some experiment on a small sample we are saying the results are applicable to the population results are applicable to the whole population so in order to do that with confidence we must also understand how we must conduct the experiment and for that we must be aware about the threats to internal validity and to external validity so we will see some of the threats today and then we will see how to conduct various experiments using different designs there are many different threats to internal validity some of them are here history maturation testing instrumentation what is history it is unanticipated events occurring while experiment is on so something happens and then it happens for one group it doesn't happen for another group and then even if you ahead with the experiment then the results which you got the findings which you had will not be really generalizable so either it will affect experimental group or it control group that means dependent variable itself is affected threat means negative impact or negative effect on our dependent variable maturation what happens you are conducting the experiment over a period of time say one year or one and half year so what happens those students who were 10 year old now will become 12 year old or 11 year old will become 13 and they will enter into the so they are matured so what you started with and now this maturation age maturation effect will really impact your dependent variable so while conducting the experiment time frame is also very important sometimes it also happens you are conducting first on control group and later on experimental group suppose you don't have other infrastructure facilities you don't have time you don't get another teacher then the same teacher conducts experiment for book then what happens this is conducted for 6 months and another is conducted for next 6 months so that age maturation of any group experimental or uh, control will definitely affect Uh, the dependent variable so you have to be extra careful about it testing the effect of taking one test upon the scores of a subsequent test so sometimes even if you give a pre test people get test wiseness so now you know how to write the test make your score you might get higher score so generally Best experiments are suppose you don't give the pre-test, you give only post-test, so only one test. So one test should not have effect on other. Instrumentation. If you are measuring instrument, it's not correct. What is measuring instrument now? In case of the achievement, it will be your achievement test. In terms of attitude, it will be your attitude scale. So these are all instrumentation. instruments which we use so if they are faulty if they are not allowing you to interpret properly then your results will be affected dependent variable observations will be affected naturally your validity is at risk statistical regression differential selection of subjects experimental mortality selection maturation interaction what is statistical regression have you heard this word regression to regress to come down so regression means if you give us take a statistical average then there is a tendency that scores come down or come up to averages so that's why if you have extreme score you have already studied statistics so there is a tendency of extreme score towards going towards averages in 
the pre-test, if you have range from 6 to 60, and then if you conduct an experiment, you will find that that 6 and 60 are gone now. They will all converge down to 40, 45, 50. So the, this tendency is always there. So you might feel, ah, I have done a good job. My experiment was good. That's why they got the mark. It's not because of that. This is called statistical regression. So you have to be careful with it. So what statistics we must use? That also will be your responsibility. Differential selection of subjects. If subjects are not randomly selected, randomly, I am using the word random, means every subject had equal opportunity of being selected. So now there are 1200 schools in Mumbai. If you select a school which is next to your house, that means your selection itself is wrong. That school may be having all very good students and you are going to conduct an experiment there, then you will definitely get good results. So how to select that one school? So you must have studied that in sampling, major sampling, sampling procedure is there, certified random sample, you have to use certain aspects, certain criteria for selecting. So if we don't select that school itself and within that school, again we have to select the subject. So how have that bias at the back of your mind every time, then your whole experiment gets affected and naturally your internal validity is at play. Groups are not equivalent to start in the beginning. One group is here and another group is here and you are giving them treatment and you are saying this group went up naturally because it was already there. So both the groups should be on the same wavelength and then you see with your treatment what happens. Experimental mortality. You know the meaning of mortality, yeah? no, don't take it literally here. Nobody is dying. Mortality, experimental mortality means you have started the experiment with 40 students and day by day they got bored. They left your experiment. The control group from 40 they, the number came down to 25. And experiment. Now can you compare both the groups? Or even the other way around, experimental group went down and control group is there. So this mortality, we call it mortality, the students have now left, no they are not for your experiment. So that is experimental mortality, so that will affect your score. Because when you use a statistic, you also must be knowing less than 30 is, a, is called a small group, above 30 is called a large group. Differential loss of subjects. So who is dropping, you don't have any control on that. One student having 60 marks is dropped from here and another student having 40 marks is dropped from here. You had equated them in the beginning, but who dropped, you don't have control. So what you get the output may be affecting your observation. Selection, maturation, interaction. Now we are talking about two variables affecting each other. Maturation not being consistent across the groups because of some selection factor. If you have selected them on their achievement score or the variable which you want to test. So, so you selected them on attitude about say film, but their age you have not seen. Their scholastic achievement, they selected them on one particular variable, whereas what is happening? Maturation because of age may be different. So though you are concentrating on attitude, two students in your class are 16 years and three students there are below 16 in control group, then naturally their maturation will have impact on your. So see now, do you see that how many variables you really have to study before you make any choice of uh, subjects, you select subjects, these were great to your internal validity because then your observation itself is wrong. Now we will see external validity. External validity is uh, for generalizability. You want to generalize and if you are not able to generalize, then your experiment is wrong. Nobody would believe your uh, findings. Threats to external validity. Interaction effect of testing. In 
interaction effects of selection biases and the experimental treatment, reactive effects of experimental arrangements and multiple treatment interface. We have already said that if you give a test, the test wiseness comes there. But here we are saying the interaction effect of testing. Pre-testing interact with the experimental uh, treatment. How? For example, you have given them a test of doing a television test. And then your experiment is also on doing the television. So what happens? Your test has an impact on because you have already given them feedback. So now they know how to appreciate the film, how to see the film. So as it is, both the groups have that impact. So this interaction among pre-testing and experiment, experimental treatment has to be looked after. Another thing is you will see that it will affect the scores in the quality. But you may not be able to generalize. What is that generalization? You will see, you will say that this particular treatment enhances students' appreciation of film. Okay, that comes the result. But you never say whether that pre-testing was given. You are only making a finding. So generalizability is only in case of pre-testing. So if you give a pre-test, then only this uh, treatment enhances the film appreciation. So your generalizability is reduced immediately because 100% were there. Suppose only 30% are given pre-test, then generalizability is reduced. Not everyone would like to give pre-test. So generalizability means the application of your findings to the whole population. That's what we are talking about. 